Okay, right, here we have a little Lister D. Lovely little thing. Um, I picked it up today for 20 pounds. Now, let's not worry about shed and buried. Uh, they're pretty crap. I don't like them on telly. Um, they haven't got a clue what they're doing. They, the way I look at it is they fuck things up. Um, so I'm going to do this little Lister engine. Nice little one. Nice little handle on it. It's not bad. It's not in a good position for me to show you, to be honest with you, but uh, it will be. It was quite funny when I come to pick it up. I was thinking, yeah, I could just lift it up and chuck it in the back of the uh, the Jeep. Um, but I was so, so glad that I was running late and I had my my recovery truck. Um, boy, it was heavy. It is heavy. So what I've done is I've undone these bolts here. Boom. Took the cover off. Everything's so heavy on it. You know, it's so well built. And I uh, had a little look in there. Yeah, yeah. Camera doesn't really show you very good. Um, but yeah, I've, I've chucked a little bit of a uh, little bit of oil, just to oil, oil them up a little bit. Um, she turns over. I'll show you this end actually. She turns she turns over nicely. <clears throat> so it's all moved in there nicely. Oh yeah, we can see better now. So yep. Yeah. So she's not seized. Um, had the old spark plug, right old thing it is. We've had a bit of spark, so it sparks and uh, she turns over. So that's good news. Um, she's missing a little tap that goes just on the side here, there's a little tap. Um, and she's missing the part of the exhaust, but that's not a problem at all. So what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> I'm gonna get a new spark plug, which I've got up the garage somewhere. Um, Put the tap on which I've ordered and once that's all on then what we're going to do is we're going to fire up get her going bub, 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 get her going we'll obviously put some water in here as you're supposed to um, some fresh fuel and uh, we'll fire up get her going once she puffs and pops and pops and pops and then what we'll do is we'll strip it all down <clears throat> and I'll show you how to strip this down um, be a nice little little task nice little job and we'll strip it all down and we'll do a, a nice little job on it I look forward to doing this one. It won't take long. It's only a five-minute, five-minute um, job, really. It's just painting up an engine and stripping it down, so it'll be a nice, easy little one. Uh, I'll make a nice little platform set of wheels to put it on. Um, for twenty quid, you can't go wrong. It was an old lady that I bought it from. Basically, her husband passed away. He's had the engine for fifteen years stored in the conservatory. Um, he's been wanting to do a repair on it you know full restoration on it uh for 15 years but he got ill and he was unable to do anything to it so i promised the lady that i wasn't going to buy this to sell on um i said look i'll buy it do it up and um you know i'll keep it so that's what i'm going to do um but the reason i, I criticize shed and buried because they done one of these a couple of well, it was on telly, it was a couple of weeks ago, they had one on telly that they did, a little Lister engine, and they paid 60 quid for it, and they just bodged it up. Um, you know, they brushed on, slapped on the old paint, made it look atrocious, and everything they do, nothing never is finished, nothing is done completely. It's like he restored a f petrol pump. Um, I was so shocked. And he stripped it all down, but they didn't unseize the petrol pump. I just don't understand why people do things like that. You know, you stripped it all down, but they didn't unseize the petrol pump. They just painted it up, made it look pretty. To be honest, they're just a bunch of bodgers, and I don't like them. Um, so here we are. That's just me having a little rant. That's just me. At the end of the day, I don't like them. End of story. But I'm going to show you how pretty easy it is to do one of these. The only thing is they're extremely heavy. Um, so don't give yourself an earnier trying to lift one of these up. Um... So yeah, what we do is I'll show you uh, the next video will be this firing up and, and running. Right, as you can see, the Lister D engine is here. Um, I know I said to you the next video will be me running it, but we put an airline on it uh, just to blow it all out. And we had loads of mouse poo come out and uh, bits of seed and things from the inside of the engine. So we've decided to strip it down. Um, 
So we're gonna we're just gonna strip it all down, uh, take the head off. So we've just undone the bolt, so the head's gonna come off now. Um, it's a good thing. This is why you shouldn't really just start engines. Um, a bent valve. So it's a good job that we took it apart, really. So yeah, we've stripped it all down, all the bits are here. Um, all you know, and all these little bits. I'm gonna clean up and paint them all. As you can see, that we've got a fuel tank here. Someone's put some filler in it. Maybe it was shed and buried. Maybe they did have this tank, um, but I think they just use a bit of um, a bit of super glue or chewing gum, don't they? They're not that good. Um, so yeah. So hopefully, I'm gonna clean all these bits up, and uh, I think the best thing is is basically to take the head off, strip it all down, and I think we're we'll rebuild the whole thing from new and then what we do is then we fire it up and start it up um, so we're going to do a full restoration on it right now so I'm going to take the head off as we speak right as you can see look, uh, you can't really see properly but there's seed little bits of seed in there um, we've had a little mouse by the looks of it living inside here lovely little spot to live in but there we are good house solid that's for sure um, but he's not in there now so that's that and the head is here so there we are, so that can all be nicely cleaned up, beautiful, bit of fun, five minute job, and uh, this will be done. Right, so I'm quite happy with that, so I've got a few bits to do. Um, I will show you the videos as and when I'm doing these little bits, um, just like I did with the little Fergie. Right, as you can see, we've removed the head off, and this is the head gasket. Now, I shouldn't be touching it with my hands, that's why I'm touching here but here is actually asbestos so they actually old um, head gaskets actually had asbestos in them so that's quite dangerous so that's not something you just chuck in the bin and it's not something that you should really be breathing in um, things like that should be taking it quite seriously so just to make you aware of there is actually asbestos in old head gaskets um, and there you can you can actually see the asbestos there you are um, that's it there. There we are. All right. So a little bit of safety there. Okay. Right. This is the fuel tank. It's uh, had a quick clean up. Um, so we've cleaned it up. Now we've discovered this. There's a dent there, and plus there's some little holes, um, which, as you know, they're not that hard for me. I'll braze over them. I'll braise them up, I think. Um, it'd be the best thing to do. Um, so that's what I'll do. Yeah. Pretty good, really. So, yeah, we'll keep it all original. Um, there's a few little dents here. But we can... I can probably put something in there. Take this off. And I can probably push push a lot of that dent out. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I can get most of this. Most of this pretty good. Um, I'll be able to push that dent out as well. So yeah, it'd be pretty good. Yeah, look nice when it's done. So I'm quite happy. Um, it's looking really good. So yeah, we're getting there. So now it's all cleaned up. I'll give it a final clean down, push out the dents, then give it another rub down, and then we'll get some, repair this, rub it down again, and then get some primer on it. And uh, that'll be that. So that'll be the tank done. So we'll have the tank in primer and uh, go from there. Just a quick one. Um, this is obviously the chain guard um, for the um, Lister engine. Um, now, just a few little tools. What I'm doing is, I'm doing this an old-fashioned way. I'm not going to use my um, sandblaster. I'm not going to use a sandblaster. I'm going to show people at home that just with ordinary standard DIY tools, you can have one of these engines and do it yourself in your own garden shed or if your wife allows you the kitchen. Um, but it's entirely up to you. Uh, it's a great little project for young for young kids to start off with, to learn about engines, it's fantastic. So it's a great little tool. Now, what you really would need is a DA sander is, is a fantastic tool. Um, but don't worry, if you haven't got an air compressor, don't worry, you can buy an electric DA, DA, uh, a DA sander, electric one. That's just as good. 
um, and it will do the job. So no worries about that. The other thing is you need an old drill. I always, this is my, my really old fashioned drill. Um, the screws just fell out. I've just got to find another screw. So I'll put a bit of tape on it just for now. Um, I know it's not safe, but, um, I'll fix that in a minute. But yeah, you need, you need, you need some of these, um, just to sort of, you know, um, and a, and a small one, but that's a bit buggered now. But, uh, yeah, a drill, a DA sander is probably your, your main main tools you need. A couple of spanners, you know, a little spanner socket set, um, or should I say, a, you know, a reasonable size socket set, nothing too massive. Um, then you would need a, um, a screwdriver set as well. And that's kind of all you will really need, you know, some pliers and nose pinches, um, little bits and pieces like that. It's nothing, nothing major. It's not no, and obviously a paintbrush and some paint. Um, you can buy all the paint on online. eBay is pretty good for some paint. You can buy some paint on there. Um, proper uh, enamel um, engine paint. Um, it, everything's quite reasonable to buy. So it's a very easy little job. You know, I could quite easily fling this stuff all in the... Um, I've been cleaning some of it up here, you know. I could quite easily, you know, fling it all in the... Um, it's all really being cleaned up nice and shiny. Look how nice and shiny it is. It, I could quite easy put it in a sandblaster and just sandblast it off. But I want to show you what sort of job you can do um, without using all these fantastic sandblasters and all these fantastic spray machines and spraying. Um, obviously, you know, I am using a DA sander, but... Again, you can you can buy electric one. They're about twenty quid. Yeah, I've seen them um, for about twenty quid. You can get them. Um, so yeah, you know this is all simple stuff that you can use and you can buy and you can just do it yourself in your garage. A Lister engine is a fantastic little project. You can get all the bits and pieces online again. Um, again, eBay is pretty good for some bits and pieces. Um, I've ordered a head gasket set. You know, well, it's only not really a set, is it? Just a head gasket. Um, you know, I've ordered a new exhaust. A um, few bits and pieces. So, you know, I've, you, I've ordered all the bits. It'll all be here. This will all be ready. Um, I'll have this all done by today. So I've stripped the engine in one day. Um, took all the bits out. I've done done the tank all in one day. Everything's all kind of in order here where I know where it is. Um, so I'm cleaning it all up. So all this will be all cleaned up in one day. And then uh, the second day I'll probably attack the bottom half. And then we'll go, you know, it'll only be a couple of days and this will be done. So quite simple little little task. So anyway, I'll let you uh I'll show you the next step. Okay. Right, obviously I've been at this all day now. Um so this is now the bottom end all stripped and done. Now, like I said, this video is purely about someone trying to restore one of these in their own little shed and you know nothing too difficult. Now, <clears throat> the problem is you can take these flywheels off but it's not something you can just do um, with a couple of few little tools firstly you will need a huge pulley um, to pull it off you need to um, it, it, it's quite a big it's quite a big task to be honest with you to take them off um, and then you need to wedge some wood behind the back of here and give it a good wallop and hopefully take this out take the key out as well so the key will have to come out you can either drill the key out or um, something like that anyway. But yeah, it's, it's a big task. And to be honest with you, if you've got no play, um, no play in, in, in this, then there's, there, there's no need. There's no need to strip it you know, completely wiped right down. This is about, I'm just showing you how to make one of these look nice um, and, and, and create a nice little stationary engine. Um, yeah, I've been at this since nine o'clock. It's now... Uh, I think it's coming up to 8 o'clock now t at night time. Um, so I've been at it the whole day. We've, as you, you've seen the videos of the of the, um, the head all been stripped down. The tank stripped down. And now this has all been done. Um, just with a wired, just, you know, I use, I use a, a, well, this is a brand new one, but I've already used one of them. But I'm using a little, small little piece like this. Really small little bit. And there is another bit here somewhere. This bit here. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm using, just small little bits. And I've gone in there and I've cleaned it all up, so it all looks quite nice. Pretty tired now, to be honest with you, but um, that's all in one day. So hopefully I'll get a little bit of primer on the head. 
um, and then maybe we can get the the bit a bit of green on the, on the on it as well um, and have a look at the new color um, when it comes I've ordered it so it should be here pretty soon um, I should I will stay um, okay it should be here tomorrow so that could be interesting I hope it is so let's see how things go I did ask for next day delivery excellent